A viewer suggested that the next power supply I build should be a tracking output that is a positive and negative output power supply with a common center connection. And the outputs, the positive and negative outputs, should track on a single potentiometer. Well, I think that's a good idea, but in order to get there, I bought one of these, which is a, is a plus and minus power supply with a common output, but it's not in any way tracking. It's two completely independent outputs with the exception that it has a common connection. But nothing crosses over from one supply to the other. The fully constructed board is going to require too much work to desolder components and modify it. So if my idea goes forward, I bought some of these boards on which I can build. I could build exactly this. But I'm thinking with some modification I could build a, a, a tracking power supply. Two power supplies that track off a common control. And to make sure I could successfully use the LM317 which is used here well it's down here and the LM338 which is up here I want to make sure the capacity of the uh, I want to become familiar with the LM317 its adjustability and its current limiting features before I invested any time breadboarding so I guess we could say on one of these four dollar circuit boards this is a package from China it came via eBay So this is a little dual rail power supply, um, negative, positive. The individual rails are adjusted by these potentiometers. And this is the positive uh, device, which is an LM317. And this is the negative device, which is an LM337. I have no real idea what the, uh, this is an LF358 uh, dual op amp, so the schematic looks like this. Uh, you have to supply or I have to supply. This is supposed to be a center tapped. 18 volt transformer with the center tap connected here. This is a bridge rectifier operated in such a way that it, two of the diodes power on well, this negative reel and two of the four diodes power this. So it's not a bridge rectifier. It's actually two full wave rectifiers. 
there's two fairly large um, electrolytics, 4700 at 50. And this is the schematic I copied for this thing. And here they show them as being 2200 microfarads. The IC is socketed, that's nice. But really what we have is two completely symmetrical power supplies divided by a common center uh, bus. So this is a, the There's a bunch of these servo supplies. And I think they're a noise canceling feedback circuit or a hum canceling feedback circuit. So $14. And I bought three of these boards which I thought would be identical and this cost uh, each circuit board cost three dollars and sixty cents and see so they say again active servo well they cost 360 and probably a buck and a half shipping on all three of them this is a package from China via eBay. Interesting little package. This is another iteration of um, the dual output, positive negative output uh, servo supply. So this was the first one. This is a bare board. And this is the one I have now. It's a LF353 servo regulated power supply board with the 317 and the 337. Now I can only imagine that this servo regulated is somehow taken maybe by the audio people. So here's the first one and the second one. And then here's a sample of the bare board. And what I've done using this board, I prepared a, a component layout and I arbitrarily assigned it uh, component designations. And I guess this is yeah, it's this way. And then I've done a schematic of it. And I've developed a bill of materials because, at least for this board, I don't have a kit. Now, this is not a tracking regulator. It's two independent power supplies with a common uh, connection. One power supply is down here, provides a positive output. And one power supply is up here, and provides a negative output, referenced here. Individually, they're adjustable using the potentiometer which is on this board and this appears to be the same electrically the same it's these potentiometers here and here now it's powered off of the rails and the maximum dual supply to this is 18 volts plus 18 volts minus or 
36 volts, which means I cannot output more than 18 volts. If I do, I'll be um, in danger of burning up this operational amplifier. My hope was to build a tracking power supply on this circuit board. The skeleton layout is just like this. Um, the negative bus, a standard LM317 or LM337 circuit. Then these two equal value resistors are not connected together with the negative bus. Okay. So if the positive and the negative outputs were equal, and these resistors are equal, the voltage measured between them on this wire here would be exactly the same as the voltage on this wire here. This wire is, is midway between these two. And a point on this wire would be midway between these two. Assuming these two are equal. The voltage here would be zero. The voltage measured here would be zero. But if one of these was a higher voltage than the other, the voltage here would be not zero. It would be the difference between the supplies. That it would be fed back to the negative input of an operational amplifier, and the output would be used to regulate this three terminal device. In this schematic, which is this board, nothing crosses this bus. Connection, 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 connection. In the proposed layout, this line does cross but not connect to the ne negative bus. Now, this will get filled out with capacitors and maybe some diodes and stuff. And in order to ensure that these two resistors are exactly identical, I may put a potentiometer in here and connect the wiper of the potentiometer to the negative input. That way I could trim it. Voltage would be adjusted here, which adjusts this voltage, which would automatically correct this to produce an identical output voltage here. At least that's my intention. I've had this naked supply running for 24 hours now. There's a bunch of fans running. This fan is running. The electronic load fan is running. So this has been 24 hours with 24 volts AC in, 3 volts, 3.1 volts out at a current of 1 amp. Now below 3 volts, this thing begins to shut down. But at an input of 24 volts AC, an output of 3 volts, and a full load current of 1 amp, everything is fine. This, I, it's been 24 hours, I could just... It actually is much cooler than the transformer. Although, I mean, something in the electronics field is hot when you can touch it firmly and then have to jump away. 
and not burn your finger. So this is not hot at all. I wanted to do this to make sure that if I do use the LM series, the LM300 series, that a dual tracking supply will supply from at least 24 down to 3, less than 3.3 at 1 amp at least. I still think though that I can use uh, this board, maybe with a little daughter board to provide a couple of accessories. For components, I have an input and output ter screw terminals. I have a full wave rectifier, filter capacitor, two diodes, one resistor, and a pot. Doesn't get much simpler than that.